Hey guys, Zach and Gil here, and welcome back to another video. Took a bit of a break. Um, had some friends over, just wanted to take some time, relax, and then just regenerate energy, energy and work on some stuff. Now, this one is a possible series I could work on, but it would require me to play more games, so that's already a hint. But first, I'm going to show off something I've been working on. It's my, um, well, I wouldn't really call it a battle bag. Usually people think of Mel when they think of like battle jackets, battle stuff. But I'm gonna call it my battle bag and it's they're not metal related patches, but this is an ostrich land from Solvang, California. Um and I've got a few I've got one other patch I'm gonna put on there and I'm just planning on sewing it and you know having some pretty awesome patches and things like seeing them and places on there. So let's do this. Some metal video games for you. Now, don't know if this is going to be a series, don't know if I can make it a series, we will see. Okay, one thing, I'm trying not to include shooters, the only exception I made was Doom, and I try not to have more than one game per series. I try to pick, like, which one I think is the most metal, and then go with that. Sorry, picking up my little song thing. Um... I'm also not including a game that is inherently metal, which is Brutal Legend. But if you like metal, that game is definitely a good to go one. So, let's start off. Assassin's Creed, a very good franchise. I believe it is very metal, considering it's... It's got gunfights, it's got sword fighting, it's got battling, and just has the thrill of everything like that. Another thing is, it's got a DLC. This one, Syndicate takes place in England. People from England are pretty metal. You know, you got bands like Black Sabbath and um, Motorhead that are from there. And you've got bands to this day that are still from there. Of course, because there's going to be bands everywhere. Um, the reason I picked this game is it's closer to the modern era. And just, I like the setting, and I think the setting is personally very bleak. And I think that, that fits well, and some of the stuff looks like being out of color. This one was a bit of a hard one to explain why I put it there, but it's, yeah. Here's one that's not hard to explain. Now, the cover is an alternate cover that I did, but on the inside, Skyrim. Now, Skyrim was included because of the, the types of things it has. It's got elves, it's got orcs, it's got humans, it's got G, it's got reptiles, you know? got undead, you fight things, you battle things, there's magic, there's um, demons, there's a bunch of different things, there's vampires, werewolves, everything that heavy metal is based around, plus it's got viking style clothing, less medieval, more viking, you know, and it gives off that very cool vibe, it's got some stuff that looks more metal, and it's got stuff that's kind of like, this is weak, um, as we go down more, each of the games kind of gets more and more metal. These are just games I like, and I think they're kind of metal. Skyrim is definitely one of those. It's got nice cold mountain ranges and swamps and all that, you know. Good game. Next one. Probably the most metal game in here. I don't know why this one wasn't at the bottom, but Doom. I have both Doom and Doom Eternal. Um, Doom, why is, why is it metal? Well, the soundtrack for one. Two, you're fighting demons through hell. You're fighting on hell, Mars, Earth. A destroyed Earth, a desolate Mars, and hell. You're fighting, and you have to slay demons. What's more metal than that? Besides a bitchin' soundtrack. Next one. Shadow of War, Middle Earth. Uh, it's a Lord of the Rings-based game. And the reason I consider this one metal, look how many bands are Lord of the Rings based. Golgadoth, Karagangrit, Borsam, and their um, Circle Sergadongro. There are bands that are Lord of the Rings based. And it it's very I feel with this game. It's got battling, it's got wraiths, it's got orcs, it's got Uruks, it's got Ulugs, Urukai, that's another one that's pretty metal. Um, the soundtrack isn't something that's like overly metal but put on some good black metal in the background and you've got yourself a good game night trust me i know and 
just for all of you out there, this is a bit of a weird video, and um, I'm trying to make it entertaining as much as possible. I try. Um, other things about it, storyline. It's got necromancy. The recent Chronic Argon album is about Frankenstein, so I mean, hello. Fallout. Now, yes, I only have a uh, physical copy of 76. Had good ambitions, just not the best. Now, the reason this game, I think, is metal. It takes place in a post-apocalyptic future where you have enemies that are mutants and people who are complete and utter just evil. You've got robots, you've got the undead, you've got um, mutated rats and cockroaches and a bunch of different things, so... For like all those thrash album covers with bombs on them, this is the game. Put on some good thrash while doing some fallout battles and game night. Okay, this one. Kind of a cheat. Friday the 13th. Why? Because Jason is metal. An undead killer who can't be stopped no matter what you do. They blew him up and he came back. Come on now. Um, how else can you put it? Jason is a very metal character. He's powerful. He's terrifying. He can't be stopped and he will stop at nothing to kill anybody who gets near the camp. There are, me there are songs in metal based around this guy. Yes. Very good. Another horror game. Recently picked it up. I've been playing through it. And I definitely think it makes this list. Call of Cthulhu. This is pretty metal, honestly. It's a pretty metal game. It's well about Cthulhu. You play as a detective. You're looking for Cthulhu and stuff. Uh, you've got a bunch of different cosmic horrors. You've got great imagery. The game itself has a very dark and bleak vibe to it, and that creates atmosphere. Metal's atmosphere. Uh, I haven't put on music with this one yet, but I think either a good death metal, good black metal soundtrack. Maybe doom metal, too. And the last one, another horror game, because I really like horror games. Fatal Frame. This one has ghosts. They have traumatic pasts. They, they're captured by cameras. You can capture them with cameras, take pictures, and there's a Medusa looking thing, except with the, the, except with the hair. It's hands that come and attack you. There's a blinded lady who can hear you wherever you go. There's a guy wielding a katana who can kill you in one hit. You know, this game is actually a pretty awesome one. It's pretty, it's kind of obscure, but it's really, really interesting. I would recommend it to anyone who wants a good scare and is a fan of, you know, like, Japanese lore, I guess. I don't know if it's actually got some roots in Japanese lore. I'm not that good with lore. I'm good with some lore, some lore, not so much. But yes, this game is pretty metal. So, I don't think I'm going to make this a series, but those are just my picks on the cross off the list. Crossing off, crossing off. Over here, I've got a list of things I want to do eventually. Um, I'm working on. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and comment for more videos. Check out the links in the description to my Instagram and Facebook page where there's a battle jacket contest going on. Uh, recommended album will be Black Sabbath Paranoid, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.